Charles Dance joins us now. So, Godzilla, it's the second one. You seem like a baddie, but are you really? No, just misguided. Ah, <laughs> OK. Well-intentioned, but misguided. Well-intentioned, but misguided. It, it, is, it is interesting, this, because it has got fantastic effects. Yeah. Obviously, as you would imagine, they do yeah. these things so well nowadays. Uh, it's a brilliant action movie, but it has sort of tapped into something that's very current, which is how do we solve and save our planet from mm. damage that man has done? Mm. And mm. your way is quite drastic. I remember I'd just go around shooting people. <laughs> Godzilla is a pink balloon 30 feet up in the air. <laughs> so we had this wonderful first assistant director. I mean, a wonderful director, but the first AD is the man who runs the set, you know. And he's a bit of a legend, Cliff Lanning. He's been in the business for years. And he stands there with a microphone, really, telling us, you know, he says, right, Pink balloon, pink balloon, <laughs> up there, 30 feet, look horrified. <laughs> and it's just pink balloon. So that's what we're working with the whole time, you know? So it um, can't possibly be method acting, can it, at that point? Oh, no, 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 no. Probably method not. acting is how to survive the heat, because we shot that film in Atlanta, Georgia. Right. Which is, you know, around about 90 degrees most wow. of the time in the summer. It's very, very hot and humid but a lot of big action films are shot there. Mm. Um, and, you know, a lot of the time, as you've seen the film, yeah. we're supposed to be in the Antarctic somewhere. Right. So we're walking around with, like, you big know, coats and fleece yeah. coats, yeah. thermal yeah. underwear, and it's 90 degrees. Wow. Um, and you can't... They have to turn the air conditioning off in the studio because it affects the sound quality. So... Yeah, that's You're slowly melting. So you're not sweating in fear. You're genuinely sweating at that point. Absolutely. Absolutely yeah. fantastic. Yes. Now, look, Game of Thrones, yes. you were ruthlessly and somewhat humiliatingly um, killed off by your son, weren't you? On the loo. Ungrateful with a little stuff. I mean, <laughs> really, after all I'd done for him, you know? <laughs> it was the most extraordinary character. Was, I mean, we've got these pictures here, absolutely gripped by him. Uh, when you first got that part, did you ever think it would have that sort of resonance and have that impact on, on you and your career mm. and, 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 you know, the consciousness of... I don't think any of us did, no. actually. You know, HBO spent a great deal of money Huge. putting production values on a television screen that you are more likely to see in the cinema. Mm. So for those reasons, you know, we just felt the thing was pretty good, but none of us knew that it was going to take off to be the most successful television series ever made, which is what it is. What did what you make of yeah, this yeah, last because... series, uh, Charles? Because mm. I, I, I've been at it and watching it ever since the first episode. In fact, I went, and read the, I went and read the books because I didn't want to wait. Just more than I do. I don't, genuinely, so... I'm so gripped. What did you make of the last series? Did you watch much? I was confused. Um, yeah, I've watched as much as I can because there were, you know, characters like Daenerys, that mm. her character, my character, you know, mm. we never met Absolutely. at all. We'd only meet at kind of press junkets and things. So I wanted to know what, what was happening to these yeah. people, you know. And I saw, you know, the last series, and then we come to the big last series and got to the very end. And I thought, hmm, OK. There's little Arya, she's going off on a cruise somewhere. Mm. Poor John's gone back up north, yep. beyond the wall. And then there's Tyrion. Who you want And all the people be... left alive are sat around the table. So, you know, what are we going to do now? Should we, should we have a cup of tea mm. or something? I thought, ah, oh, I don't know. Because you wanted Tyrion to, to come through and be the boss, didn't you? <laughs> Mm. Me personally, mm. yes. That would have been a great finish. Uh, sadly, would. Charles, we are out of time. We could talk for hours and hours and hours. Good luck with Godzilla. It's thank you like very a much. Special thank film. you. And thank you so much for coming in this morning yeah. as well. It always is a treat to see you. Really appreciate it. My pleasure. You. Thank, thank you. Very much. Thank you.